In this video we are going to talk about the third party render engine for Blender and what are the advantages and features of this render engine. And this render engine is called K-Cycles and K-Cycles is a highly optimized custom built of Cycles X render engine. It offers ultra lighting, post FX, ultra denoiser and real time viewport lighting and effects. It is fully compatible with Cycles and it is designed for NVIDIA GPUs. It offers features like a set of Cycles performance features and options for improving the Cycles viewport and the final rendering. The K-Cycles performance mode for maximizing the render time, GPU boost controls Cycles GPU memory to help improve performance and memory usage, global illumination presets allow scene lighting settings for faster rendering or higher lighting quality. Also sampling final render presets is the best way to control render time, noise level and scene image quality. It reduces viewport update for faster viewport rendering. It also features ultra lighting which is the most complete and powerful lighting system for cycles. We all know that lighting is crucial in bringing your art to the next level and using ultra lighting features like light groups, light mixing, light linking and tone mapping allow you to get amazing lighting results. It also has fully denoised light groups layers to continue work in the computer if needed. It offers animation denoising which uses the latest optics temporal denoising technology and improve animation render time by up to two times. Also it comes with the ultra denoiser that offers the latest intel denoising technology, multi pass feature for noise free and very sharp detail. It has amazing detail at very low render samples. It is artifacts free and it offers smooth volumetrics and it works inside Blender without the need of the compositor. K-Cycles also offers both FX masks which allow to include and exclude objects and collections to have the specific post effects applied. It is quite useful for controlling which object to apply the bloom and flare or tone mapping for visual importance. Also it offers post effects presets which saves the post effects settings and are like other presets used in Blender. It also has post effects viewport match to output resolution which changes the cycles preview to match exactly the output resolution. This is very useful for pixel based effects like bloom and flare because the amount of the effect depends on the render resolution. It offers a feature that EV users has used and enjoyed in the past which is now available with K-Cycle and that feature is K-Cycle's bloom which allows you to dynamically interact with the scene and the viewport, adjusting quickly the bloom settings with fast performance in the preview render viewport, creating beautiful bloom effects in no time. The engine also offers flare and K-Cycles flares is the only Cycles lens flare implemented in the viewport. Lens flare type includes glare, anamorphic and ghost effects. They are physically based on light brightness size and color. They also have many artistic control to create all types of amazing flare effects. Also they are animation ready with so much settings and with preview on the viewport. Also K-Cycles offers zone mapping and K-Cycles zone mapping is only Cycles zone mapping implementation in the viewport. Tone mapping controls allow you to create more dynamic scenes or change the mood of the scene in no time and it's easy to use and designed to give great results without the need of photoshop or the compositor. Now if you want to check out the add-on link is in the description. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on. Subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.